But jazz education started at U of L in approximately 1985, six, seven, in that time period when I came on the faculty as the uh, saxophone teacher. And part of my duties at that time included the teaching classical saxophone and jazz. And one of the components that I had uh, this experience with as a young, young younger person in school was how most schools divided these things. They were separate, not definitely not equal. And so it, as I became more and more entrenched in the school and became uh, a more valued teacher, I saw the need for us becoming more encompassing, where jazz and classical became more equal partners. So within my studio, certainly in the saxophone studio, the uh, saxophone players had to learn material from both styles. So they had an opportunity to uh, find a way to express themselves through jazz as they studied their traditional music. I think it's really important for a music educator in the 21st century to recognize the value of not just studying music, but the variety of styles that are in music today. Uh, for someone to graduate not having any experience uh, in the classical field as well as the jazz field is falling. Because when you get out of here, all the music we do today, if you turn on the TV, the music, and the movies, um, the radio, CDs, MP3s, whatever you listen to, the music is all becoming more and more homogeneous and becoming ways that encompass more and more styles. And uh, so for a young person, if they go through school, it really behooves them to have experiences throughout the spectrum. So what I tried to do as we developed the program was keep that in mind, that it would not be an exclusive thing where jazz is a separate thing that you learn on your own and jazz guys hung about themselves. But I wanted to embrace the whole school to where jazz became a component that everybody had a chance to play in. And it took a while, but eventually we got to develop into programs as far as degrees. We started with a Bachelor of Arts degree and then finally got a Master's degree first. And then we uh, became uh, able to have a Bachelor of Music degree in jazz performance, which is like most degrees in any major school. In fact, I put ours up with any school in the country because we offer a great deal of opportunity to do a variety of different things. And then after that, we <coughs> added a writing and arranging component to our master's degree. And then we also have something that's very unusual, I think, it's a music therapy jazz um, degree that works together because that way improvisation is a major component of what they do all the time anyway. So that became a natural extension of their degree. So the improvisation, uh, that key word runs throughout everything we do. Uh, the reason the program developed as it is now is that when we first, and when I first started talking with the guys about how to develop what we do, we wanted to model it more on what Jamie Abersall does with his jazz program, jazz camps, in a way that where the individual is stressed in a small group setting where they improvise, where they work on their own craft and in conjunction with others in an ensemble. A lot of schools would do it with big bands as being the focus, and that's a great way of doing it too. But it ends up being maybe four or five people at the most solo. In our program, everybody is uh, not only encouraged, but they're required to solo. And it becomes something that, that becomes the driving force. And while the ensembles are definitely important, uh, the improvisation and the individual working toward their own goals as an improviser and as a creative individual is the goal of our program. One of the things that I'm most proud about in our, our program is that we embrace people from all cultures and all walks of life. It's a, it's, a, uh, it's a goal for us to include as many people as possible, regardless of where they come from, how much experience they have. Our job is to teach them. So from undergraduate to graduate degree, we have had a lot of really beneficial opportunities throughout our, our time to embrace foreign students. Not only people from throughout the United States, but people from throughout the world. And we're most proud of the things that we've done that have incorporated uh, students coming for a master's degree, some coming for an undergraduate degree, that are from societies where jazz is very uh, a desirable thing to, to strive toward. And they're looking for ways to uh, further their study. And through a number of reasons, we become uh, have become a focal point for a lot of the students to uh, at least consider us. We have an International Jazz Quartet, which focuses, as of this title, on international students. We've had students from Brazil, uh, uh, now Ecuador, Russia, uh, England, Canada, uh, Colombia, a lot of different places people come. And we've had grants through the Open World Leadership Program through, through Russia, 
students have come here from there and ours have gone to Russia. We have now the FIPSI campus grants where we have people who have come to UofL as an exchange and spent a semester here. Our students are currently in uh, Brazil right now studying. We've had that. We also have uh, students from Australia come as part of the exchange that we've had there. We have students from Poland who are interested in coming. Uh, people from Argentina have come up. So we've had a lot of different interactions with students from different cultures. It's a great opportunity for them because they go home and spread the, spread the gospel of jazz. And they're sharing the, the love of the music that we have, but they're also putting their little twist to it. They're changing things a little bit. And as they change it, they also change us, which is reflective of how our times are changing as well. That only is great for them, but it's also great for our other graduate students and, under, and undergraduate students because they're experiencing people from a different part of the world. They're understanding and appreciating the differences we have between individuals, between cultures, between music, and the idea that we can all work together. Maybe the language isn't always clicking as it should be, but when we put our instruments in our hands, whether it's a saxophone or a piano or a guitar, we're all playing the same language then. And it's a really great opportunity for, like I said, undergraduates and graduate students because everybody gets a taste of having the interaction between people. I am a native of Louisville and I've lived my whole life here. I've had the opportunity to travel to many places. In fact, right now it's 45 countries playing jazz and teaching. So I've been very lucky. One of the great things is I get to come home. And Louisville is, uh, of course, a very familiar place for me because I've been here my whole life. But what's great about it is the opportunities that not only affords people within the community, but people who are from out the community coming into our, our little city. Uh, it's not that little anymore, it's over a million people. What happens for them is that there's so many opportunities culturally. They can hear symphony, they go to ballet, they go to the opera, they hear jazz. There's all kinds of things that they can experience. There's a lot of, there's a, there's a youth movement here where there's a lot of new music being created by people that, um, you know, don't ever get to come together unless they have this synergy when they come to a certain location. So Louisville's a nice place to be because there is a lot going on. And I do think that the, the people in our community embrace people from other parts of the world, other, other cultures, other races. Uh, they aren't afraid of having that type of interaction become part of the norm and not part of the individual. And I think that what we do as a program is we try to enhance that and embrace it because it only enhances us. And when we, uh, when our students go out and play and when they interact with their individuals, they're doing the same thing. And the great part about it is, is it's like, often go to other countries and see students who are graduates from our program, I get to see them spreading the word in their culture. When I go into Brazil, I get to see people who are running programs there that are from our program. And so the University of Louisville is not an unusual word or a term or a school, but it's something they are all familiar with because so-and-so went to school there and they studied with this individual, that individual. So it's really become a way for us to kind of draw these things toward us and then yes, we also go out from there as well. Our students have traveled overseas and played, like I said, in Russia, in Estonia, in Brazil, Argentina, have gone to Poland, we've gone to uh, England, Scotland, a variety of different places. Other schools do that too. And it's something that uh, we've become more and more familiar with in different institutions. But it's something that almost all of our students at some time while they're here will have the opportunity, whether they go or not, is their choice, but have an opportunity to go somewhere else and play and perform and experience what it's like being outside of the United States, outside of Louisville. Then they come back and then they'll recognize just how valuable the experience they are getting both in Louisville but throughout the school. One of the other highlights we have with our program that, uh, I, again, I'm most proud about is the opportunity for our students and our faculty and our community to interact with the masters of the music. Um, we've had many great people come from Louisville. It's, it's again a smaller city than say New York or Los Angeles, Chicago, but people such as Jimmy Rainey, Helen Humes, a number from Jonah Jones and other people have come, you know, many years ago and helped formulate this music. Um, so what we try to do here with our artist programs, we have a visiting jazz artist uh, that we can, we can bring in people, but before that one of our uh, mandates, at least one of the things that I wanted to make sure happened when we have a jazz festival and other times, is to bring in living legends. Uh, as a player myself, as someone who always wants to hang out with people, and I've been fortunate to be able to do that many times in and out of school, I wanted to bring those opportunities to our students and to our community. So when we started the, the Jazz Fest, and first it was Jazz Week, I said, well, who, who, who can we bring in? Who's, 
who's going to be exciting, who's going to be somebody we want to listen to. And it became real apparent that we really wanted to honor and uh, pay homage to the tradition. So we've had so many great people here that it's amazing. On the, on the website, you'll find a list of all of our artists and hopefully some photographs and maybe some sound clips as well. But everybody from um, Elvin Jones and McCoy Kiner from the great quartet of John Coltrane to Dave Brubeck, uh, Pequito Di Rivera, uh, we had Ray Brown. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And it's one of the things that is really great for our students because when these artists come on campus, they just don't s go on stage and talk to us or talk at us. One of the, the things that we have them do is perform with our students in a either big band or small group setting. They'll spend days on end, possibly interacting with groups of students or individually uh, in uh, master classes and different types of uh, teaching situations. So what happens is we have all these people that are coming through and our students, and when you only have as many as 30 to 50, these guys are getting, these young ladies and men are getting to run, you know, rub elbows right next to, uh, you know, someone like a Ray Brown or someone like a Wynton Marcellus or someone like an Ahmad Jamal. I mean, this has been, a, you know, just a whole list. And please do look at the list of individuals because it is something that we will not only be proud of, but continue to expand because that's one of the things that we really want to do.